Hello guys, this is Doggo Card Reviews, and we are coming at you once again with another deck discussion. And as you can tell from our intro picture here, it'll be none other than Konosuba. So join uh, Gavin and I as we go ahead and explore this next deck tech. The explosions will be real. The explosions will be real, all right. Disclaimer, as with all deck profiles and deck techs, the following is ultimately an opinion of those speaking in this video and should therefore not be taken as indisputable fact. <clears throat> this video is meant to open up and facilitate a discussion between the speakers and the viewers, so if this video contains viewpoints you do not quite agree with, feel more than free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Those of us behind Doggo Card Reviews do not deem ourselves perfect players that have solved the game in any meaningful way, so we are definitely more than welcome of your opinions and more than willing to follow up on any comments made to this video. And with that out of the way, we will begin with none other than our level zeros, in which we play 16. Starting off, we have Sniping Kazuma at 3 copies. He is available in Konosuba Set 2 and Konosuba Re-Edit. And he has the Adventure and Magic Trace with 500 power. Also, when he becomes reversed in battle, you may, send, you may choose a card in your opponent's clock and send it to the waiting room. If you do, your opponent sends the top card of their deck into their clock. And also, when this card becomes reversed, if the level of the battle opponent of this card is 0 or lower, you may send that character to your opponent's stock. If you do, send the bottom card of your opponent's stock to their waiting room. Hey, look! A very good Cosmo card for once, guys. Right. And, uh, we... Uh, later on in the review, or later on in the deck tech, we will show why we have to play Yellow and Cosmos. <laughs> but yes, a very, very good, uh, general removal along with Possibly wrecking uh, any weird clock setups that uh, your opponent might be running if they're playing an alarm deck or a deck that has an early play condition that requires a specifically named card in the clock. This is a decent answer to that. Uh, cough, love, life, sunshine, cough. <laughs> or Goblin Slayer. <laughs> oh, yeah, cl um, and and the thing is that um, with with sniping Cosma, this is my preferred choice in a lot of cases. Uh, we'll be looking at an alternative very shortly, though, like my like my co-host just said, this is an amazing card at removing up. At removing early game threats, and also, it can also screw with their color pie, too. If they're, if they're playing a really, a really greedy deck, and they're relying on, like, a specific card, relying on a specific card, you know, for their color, for their color buff, Cosmo can also throw them off from that particular method, and from experience, oh. Sniping Cosma is a really good card. I, I'm glad I kept him in the deck, honestly. Mm. Now, as Gavin alluded to, we do have an alternative for that Cosmo. And let Gavin take us away with this. Sure. So we have the Decoy Cosmo. He is available in set two. Uh, let's see here. So he's a front row five, and you may, and he has a startup. You may put this at the bottom of your deck, and summon the, sub, and choose up to one beautiful goddess of water Aqua. Also available in Konosuba Set 2 or the Rihanna Set. In your hand, whose level is equal to or lower than your level and put it to any slot on the board. So this is a very interesting type of card where... Um, early in the game, who just be there in the back row just giving a marginal 500 boost to two of your guys. But when you hit level 2, which that is when uh, said beautiful guys of water aqua becomes a level two if you are playing the game correctly you can easily bypass the initial two stock investment that it would have costed you to play her and instead simply send this to the bottom of your deck play her and get that card into your from your clock to your stock without having to pay stock in the first place <laughs> so very very neat there uh of course, that means you're giving up. Uh, you're giving up a card on the board to do that. So that is something you do have to keep in mind a little bit. But uh, overall, not a bad choice, and I I really like this pivot idea. And it's kind of funny. Like a lot of people will scoff at the front of five hundred, but in this particular deck, like it can be useful, especially in the standby matches because. Uh, it allows our level 1 combo to tie with, you know, common standby targets. You know, mm -hmm. and force them to use that counter. 
And the fact is, yes, we do still play Beautiful Water Goddess of Water Aqua. Bear in mind, bear in mind, if you're not playing, like, if you don't have much blue in the deck, Decoy Cosmo can actually bypass the color requirement for summoning mm -hmm. Aqua in the first place. So that's very correct. That's very, that's very, very handy. Mm -hmm. um, if it wasn't for supply supply chain issues, I'd be playing Decoy Cosmo instead of the Sniping Cosmo in my current deck. Yeah, the, the, the problem is this guy is available from only set 2 and was not reprinted in re-edit uh, despite uh, set Aqua being reprinted there, so that was kind of weird, but oh well. <laughs> I, I definitely can see why, because the beautiful goddess of water Aqua before the reprint was about $30. Right, but to be fair, because it's also an R rarity, which means it's still relatively hard-ish to get from... A single box. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But that's, not, but that's why we buy the singles we need. <laughs> right. But uh, be, in all seriousness, uh, you know, do do support your local stores uh, when they open up again because um, they have definitely felt what it has been like to not really run their business for several months uh, in a row. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> that being said, let's move on to our next level zero. Believe in your friends, Yung Yung. Played at three copies. Level 0, 1500 Adventure and Magic Traits. Uh, auto, when she is placed from your hand onto the stage, send the top two cards of your deck into your waiting room, and she gets plus X power until the end of the turn where X is 1000 multiplied by the number of Adventure and or Magic characters among them. And Auto, at the beginning of your opponent's draw phase, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level 1 or higher, you may send this card to your hand. Quiet Masters are regarded as level 0 for this ability, and you leave the reveal card in its original position. Ah, oh, so, so I am spoiled by Yun Yun, as we alluded to uh, <laughs> last, last recording. <laughs> Indeed. And th this card is just, like, this is the ideal turn 1 play, in my opinion, for Kono It's like, you slap this down, you mill 2, you know... You hopefully mill two guys here. Uh, uh, I don't want to count the amount of times that I've milled a uh, climax or two in this card. It, it do be like that sometimes. <laughs> well, welcome to Watch Wars. <laughs> but at the same time, ideally, she's a 3 5 that fucking bounces back to your hand. Like, Which, that. Mm -hmm. Very, very powerful because that's a lot of games that um, a lot of what we call Jumper Joes uh, really lack prior to more recent sets, is that they were just tiny. <laughs> I mean, like, I knew, I alluded to with Nodoka in the last deck tech, I was just like, 2k, she can't really kill all that much. But to be fair, she was an uncommon rarity. <laughs> versus this is a double rare, and having that 3-5 Trumper Joe goes, yeah, she's gonna beat you up with a fucking shovel instead, instead of... Well, here's a fist cup. I'm like, eh, you know what? Uh, um, and I'm really glad that Konosuba got Jumper Joe's. Like, when I first saw this card, I was like, oh my god, this card is insane. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you playing this? And it's just also like, you also kind of think, like, did Konosuba really need good cards like this <laughs> at the same no. time? No. <laughs> no, uh, it I mean, didn't. <laughs> the swimsuit Megamine is. The swimsuit Megamine's kind of in at this point, because. Yeah, so unfortunately, we can we do not have an alternative for this card. So uh, we are recommending that you do have to shell out the roughly forty dollars, give or take, for three copies of this. <laughs> Actually, she's gone down in price. She's only about seven each now. Oh, okay, twenty-ish dollars. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> All right. But definitely, but definitely, <laughs> shell out for this one. You won't regret it. Mhm. Mm you heard it here, folks. <laughs> All right, moving along. To the Crimson Demon Village, Megamine, and Yun Yun. Oh, let's see here. When a, play, when the, uh, when a climax is placed in the climax zone, if that uh, climax card has the door trigger icon, you can choose one of your guys and make a possible soul. And it's also a tap self salvage brainstorm. Mm hmm. So, yep. Konosuba is playing brainstorm again. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> So I know that some people are thinking, going like, "Oh, but 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 guys, just just play the just play the four Yung Yung Sangha One Mega Man from Set One and have have guaranteed characters." And I go, "Bruh, bruh, bruh, bruh." That the guaranteed plus one, like 
kind of eh, like sure, sure. It's somewhat, somewhat useful, but at the same time, I prefer the traditional brainstorm. Like, um, like I'll take the guarantee. Like I'll take the uh, the chance to whiff versus, you know, when I hit two or three, I want to hit that two or three. Whenever I resonate, I go, oh crap, I go three climaxes and one guy. Oh, I, that's just that's right. Just and on top of that, what is that level 3 Mega Man going to do besides on play Gig 3? Because as you can tell from a card like this, we are just going to play 8 door triggers. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so the Mega Man Climax combo is out of play here. <laughs> and, and, with, and, with the, and with the 8 gates, uh, you just go, yeah, I'm going to give 2 of my guys plus 1 soul. Um, I'm going to bat you for 3 in 2 legs. Right, if you are playing double brainstorming your back row, <laughs> I guess, but hey, it's possible. <laughs> it's very possible. I've seen, seen myself playing the double brainstorming. So, 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 it's, so it's almost like you're playing, it's almost like you're playing like plus 1k and plus 2 so almost there. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like gate and plus 2 soul had a baby. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, I mean, seems, seems legit. <laughs> yeah, seems pretty good. And, and like hey, I, encouraged to play uh, plus thing triggers <laughs> on, on, on my stock stones. <laughs> uh, so I triggered, a, I, triggered I triggered plus two soul. Um, okay, so swing for four. Yeah, get cancelled, sir. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> now, now, now we have some plus thing triggers, so now we can definitely be a little... In overall, because we're playing door triggers, we can therefore breathe a sigh of relief and not worry about having to trigger these non plusing triggers <laughs> and have a relatively healthy hand size uh, with or without hitting off of a brainstorm. Yep. Okay then. Moving along. Problematic Act Megaman. Uh, level zero, uh, zero cost, she got some power with the adventure and magic traits, play got three copies, and she is available from color super set one and re-edit. Also, when she is placed from the stage to your waiting room, you may pay the cost of discarding a card from your hand to the waiting room. If you do, look at up to your top four cards of your deck, reveal up to one magic character among them, add that card to your hand, and send the remaining cards to your waiting room. Hey look, it's a survivor from set one. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people will scoff at this card saying, it only grabs magic characters. So, that's uh, the majority of the deck. That is very true, like, all your Cosmos are magic, all your Mega Mans are magic, all your Unions are magic, all the new Crimson Demons you might play are magic. <laughs> so, legitimately speaking, like, if you're building the, a mono-red deck, this card is amazing. It can grab literally everything. But even still, a lot of people are like, well, I play Aqua card. I'm like, you play a 3 of, of Aqua early play. That's about it. And, and or maybe something like Aqua Refresh. <laughs> okay. Even even that, it's just like, kind of, uh, you know, it's not as bad. Like, sure, you've added additional whiff states, but, I mean, I've never had this card with them, Even in this deck. Right. It, it, it's almost near impossible. <laughs> Of course, I have whiff, but at the same time, it's not as bad because this still acts as a pitch outlet for those pesky drinks that are like entering my hand. <laughs> Sometimes they just be like that. Yeah, yeah. And when you're and when you're not playing board game Mega Man, that that is the problem we do run into. Yep, that's. But again, she still acts as a convenient pitch outlet. But um, being at 2K though. But, you know, I kind of wish she was the traditional Azusa versus the on death variant. But Bushiro Hagulik has to be a little more fair. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Right. Okay, but you know, if you really, really don't like the magic restriction on this, we do have an alternative, and... Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so we have to the Crimson Demon Village. Zero zero fifteen hundred. 0 0 she is death and magic available in the brand new set. If you have two or more other characters with either adventure of magic, she gains a thousand. And when she dies, you may pay the cost of ditch a card, check top four, add a level one or higher to your hand, and pitch the rest. Alright, so I know a lot of your console web players go, Wow, I can search for four closure off of this. <laughs> Which is very okay. handy. Searching for closure, search for... Oh, <gasps> this can grab Aqua now. Your early play. Oh. <laughs> you can grab 
this could grab my level one combo, Bonnie Girl Yun Yun. Or if you prefer the uh, the Mega Man and the Yukata, and the Yukata, fine. That can she can also get that. I or, and I know that some people play the, what I call the uh, respect play event, where both players have to show their hands. This could grab that. <laughs> friendship crystal. Oh, is that what it's called? Okay. <laughs> and on top of that, she's. 500 bigger than the aforementioned Mega Man. Oh, guess what? This could also grab your early play, your finisher. Yes, this, this, this grabs a lot of games. <laughs> like, this, this grabs, like, sure, now you lose access to your level zeros, but then you're kind of like, you know what? I'm pretty sure most people want to grab their level ones or higher cards most of the game anyway. <laughs> I mean, this card is two bucks, guys. Yeah, she cheap. She cheap. <laughs> is definitely cheap like if you're on a budget this is a great alternative mm -hmm. all right speaking of not so, not so cheap not so cheap cards all right genius crimson demon mega man uh she's a level zero zero cost 2000 power with the adventure and magic traits and she's available in the kago kawa sneaker bunko and konosuba re-edit continuous if there are two or fewer cards in your stock, she gets 1500 power, and also when she is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pick a cost of one stock and discard one card from your hand uh, to your waiting room. If you do, search your deck for up to one sneaker bunko, adventurer, or magic character, reveal it, add to your hand, and shuffle your deck. Be aware that the re-edit printing does not have the sneaker bunko uh, reference, and uh, has a different art than the one shown here. And this is rank at two copies in this deck. Okay, so for those of us that like to like to flex a little bit, we use the sneaker book. So the reason why we're using the sneaker bunko is because you know I originally bought two sneaker bunko version variants versus the uh, re-edit variant. Now, bear in mind that this card is functioning the same regardless of which variant you have. <laughs> and this is not a bad first turn play. Like, you slap it down, it's a 3-5, you're... Sure, you lost the drop search portion, but... But... Same time, your, your opponent's gonna have a hard, hard it's, time... It's a great 5 with no downside. Yeah, versus... Which is, which, 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 is, which is really something that's very rare. <laughs> well, this does have a condition to maintain that 3-5, but... We really call that a condition? Yeah, <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> So, I most like to use this as a second turn play when I can actually drop search. Right. But it's not the end of the world if you have to, if you are forced to play this turn one. So, but be aware though, be aware though, for the budget players, this card is kind of expensive. Even a re edit version? Yeah, that's like $13. Ouch. <laughs> and it's not cheap for the Kona Super Player. So it seems. Okay. Well, moving on. Ah uh, yes, Salvation of the Soul, Aqua. She is available in Sun 2 and the re-edit, Adventure Goddess. So, unfortunately, if you're running the uh, Mega Man Azusim, you can't grab you can't grab um, this off of her. So you're gonna have to find her an alternative. Then you have to you're gonna have to draw into her or drop her. Brainstorm. Door. Or, or brainstorm. <laughs> and when this is placed in hand stage, you reveal the top card of the deck. If it is an Adventure Goddess or Axis Cult. Put it into your hand and pitch. And you may pay two to refresh. Pretty neat. Get to confirm your top deck. And possibly hand filter. And on demand. Refresh without penalty. Seems good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty damn good, honestly. The fact that this hits adventure pretty much hits everybody in the deck. Right. Well, your only whips are climaxes and events, of course. <laughs> or if you're playing her, whiz. Oh, that's right, it's cannot grab Wiz. <laughs> Good catch. Uh, <laughs> rip, rip magic. <laughs> oh, it's also, cannot, it's also cannot grab any of the non adventurer Crimson Demons. Oh, right, so basically the movie exclusive characters. Mm hmm. And, and, and she's actually not bad as a first turn play either, um, though she's more useful as the emergency panic button. Right. And she's, and she's also Blue Splash, cough, cough. Yep, the blue splash does matter, but if you feel a little more adventurous and you really don't like paying two stock to perform a refresh, we do have an alternative. Shy Yun Yun from our Legend of Crimson set, play like two copies, auto, 
Once she is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pay the cost of discarding a card named the strongest magic user Megumin, uh, number 33, in the Legend of Crimson set from your hand. If you do, perform the refresh without penalty. <laughs> So, the card that she's referring to is the finisher of the deck. Um, this, this card is actually pretty good. Uh, it's a decent alternative. It's 2k, it's slightly bigger than Aqua 2. So, it is. The, the problem with I got this card is... Okay. <laughs> no, 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 Aqua is 1000. Oh. But at the same time, though, Yunya, the problem is, though, Union can't really fix if, you're, if you have a bunch of CXs in hand. You'll be, you'll be able to refresh, yes, but at the same time... Oh crap, I refreshed 3 up because I have 3 climax in the Oh, damn it. There's, that problem is also the fact that, unlike unlike Aqua, Yun Yun cannot pay out climaxes you may have gotten stuck in stock recently. This is true. Because her, because her refresh is technically... Technically stuck... is technically free. You would need to use all... you have to use other cards like a Brainstorm or playing caustic cards from your hand to start paying that stuff out. Right, as opposed as opposed to Aqua who fixes the problem for you. Right. But they are both very decent options and they both give Konosuba that extra survival space that it totally didn't need. I was about to say, Konosuba did not need a free refresh. <laughs> oh well. And with that that concludes our level zeros. So we will go ahead and start with our level voice at which we play 11. Ah, good to endure darkness. She is available in the new set. She's 104k to start off with during your turn. She gains 1000. And when she dies, you may look at the top four cards, choose a climax from among them, reveal it, put it to your hand, and pitch the rest. If you added a card to your hand, pitch a card. Alright, so we have uh, the on death Kome on a level 1 stick. Which is pretty neat, like, right again, they call us a really neat additional deck fixing and hand fixing, <laughs> or climax absolutely fixing. Not. Absolutely not, like... And, and this is also important because, again, Yellow Splash, yep. as we will see uh, in a bit, <laughs> wink wink, and you know, being able to grab, being able to dig a little deeper for important climaxes at level 1 and level 3 is it is very, very powerful. I mostly use this darkness to try and find the climax of the end game. Be like, okay, okay, okay. I need to gain. I need to gain. I need like, to gain. Ah. Uh, no, like, 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 to be fair. I, I, at least you hang it, and you did your best to use it. Whereas, experimenting, if you get it, have a period, and you're like, I'm actually stuck, and I can't. I only have a means for a chance at. I, I don't have the means for an additional chance at finding a climax. Right, right. And of course, with no guarantees in this game, while well, darkness is pretty much. Pretty much as close as we can get to a guarantee here, and being a 5k body, she can actually contest weak climax combos. Mm -hmm. So she, she's definitely a usable body, and you go. Be, be, yeah. Oh, go ahead. oh no, I was just gonna say that um, you know, deck fixing, climax fixing, hang fixing, they're, they're all very, very well, not really hand fixing, but hand fixing for the right climax. <laughs> Uh, you know, these are very, very nice things for Konosuba to have, on top of what they already have had. Bear in mind, she is not magic. This will be important later. Right. <laughs> anyway, cough, 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 moving along. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, ho, 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 ho! Uh, you level one, one cost event, and we play at two copies. If you do not have a character like Cosmo in game, you cannot play this card from your hand. Choose one of the following actions and perform it. Number one, choose a character in your waiting room and add it to your hand. Number two, choose one of your opponent's characters in the front row and send it to their hand. And last but not least, if your opponent has five or more cards in memory, send all characters in their memory to the waiting room. Okay, so... So this is the, um, the Konami code, as the community has called it, because it's a because the first half of the card's name is a reference to the code itself. Now, now putting this in context of the deck, the salvage, yeah, good actually. It's great of access. The ability to bounce something, huh? Useful for those pesky standby matchups. Mm-hmm. Or just pesky early plays that people are using. <laughs> True. 
especially sticky ones. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at you, Shizu. <laughs> our, our good unit from this very set. And the final sentence. Okay, so... Um, just to put this in a better context, the WOC, at the top of the recording, the WOC just concluded the Weiss Online Championships. And they just... The re what it is is basically a tournament of 16 of Japan's most prolific players, and then they square off and they square off in a turn. We just got the results back. Two out of the top four decks are Saikano. And yes, for those of you who are not who are not who are like, whoa, what what's the significance of behind Saikano? This card single handedly shuts them down. So Saikongo typically plays a very Megumi-centric build that aims to just send a bunch of characters to memory and aims for long-term, long-lasting compression. This card just says, no bro, you lose. But no, please go back to square one, try again. <laughs> yep, you, all, an all for one stop. Mm -hmm. Like, well there is, there was a Konosuba deck and I saw them specifically play this card. I'm like, I don't know why. Yeah, and that, that was definitely a good. Re that was definitely a good mega call. <laughs> like, I mean, if we have a ban list in August, I suspect Saikana will be on it. Because because even if this card exists, the fact that only one title has access to it in the US standard format, Saikano is still allowed to run rampant against many other titles. Right, right, and I. And of course, uh, the winner of that WSC tournament was, I believe, Love Life Sunshine. Uh, Which doesn't even play a card like this and be like, Compression, you're funny. <laughs> oh. Compression don't matter if I'm, if I'm gonna give six instances of damage uh, starting at level 2 or some shit. <laughs> Just leave us alone, please, Bushy. <laughs> but anyways, so the Konami code is really, really good. Like, it's useful with... Like, it's, it has two modes that are useful regardless of matchup. Mm -hmm. The third one is very matchup specific, but right. it gives you that specific matchup. Like, like yeah, if, if Angel Beast makes a resurgence thanks to Key Anniversary, then <laughs> there you go, the third mode becomes even more active. <laughs> oh yeah, it, oh yeah, Key Hype is so real, like, holy Like, shit. no, this is not going to stop Charlotte, so rip your burns, but, um... They, they just, just could put a uh, hamper on Angel Beak stacks if they make a resurgence. Uh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. I'm, I'm really not looking forward to see a bunch of Charlotte. <laughs> I, I don't think a lot of people are. Except Charlotte fans themselves. Yeah, the, there is a reason why Charlotte now costs about $350. I believe it. Uh, well, let's move on. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. The quintessential, the quintessential climax combo, Bunny Girl Yun Yun. She was the combo in set two, and you can also find her as a reprint and re-edit. One zero four k. If all your characters are magic traits, I'm looking at you, Darkness. And Aqua. Aqua. <laughs> this card gains two thousand, so she's a six k, aka extra thick. <laughs> climax combo. When the battle of this becomes reversed, if you have Light of Saber, the gate climax right next door, in your climax area, you can put the top card of your deck into stock, and reveal the top card if it's a level 1 or higher, you add it to hand. Mm mm, yeah, I love those plus 1.5s per lane. <laughs> I mean, you faced to get you faced off with this card. <laughs> yes. It, it, it's, it's, de it's definitely a very very usable climax combo. Just it just it just really really pushes your momentum that much further if you get both off. Hey man, the high roll is real. The high roll is real, and beyond the door trigger is very very handy. Oh oh, so you know it's hilarious is you know what? If I reveal a door off the off the level one trigger, I'm not that sad. I'll be like. Like, cool. I get, I get selectivity <laughs> instead? Fuck yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, selectivity. <laughs> like, yeah, like, having that extra information, uh, and going like, cool. <laughs> and the fact that Bunny Girl is thick at 6k, like, you can't just throw garbage at her. Right. Like, as we alluded to earlier, uh, with the, if you are choosing to play Decoy Cosima instead of Sniping Cosima, uh, that extra 500 could come in handy. Uh, because that will get make her a 6-5, uh, 
with climax 7-5, so as Gavin alluded to earlier, starts to contest with things like 1175 cards with character hang on core. They actually have to pitch the card in order to save in order to save their creature now. And in, and in order to deny you the combo, they're then forced to drop the counter. Yep. So pretty much it forced it pretty much puts them in a precarious situation. Mm-hmm. Not a comfortable one. But of course, for those of you that don't like our uh, particular our favorite bunny girl, we do have the alternative for you. And I'll let my co-host uh, mm -hmm. go. Sure thing. So we have feelings on Explosion Magic Mega Man from the Legend of Crimson set. She's a level 1, 4500 power character. Continuous during your turn, she gets 1000 power, bringing her up to 5500. And Climax Combo, when a card named Teasing is placed onto your Climax area, if you have another uh, adventure or magic character, she gets the following two abilities until the end of your until the end of your opponent's next turn. <laughs> Auto. When this card attacks, you may pay one stock. If you do, perform a trigger check twice during this attack's trigger step. And auto when she is frontal attacked, you may send this card to your hand. Hmm. So this this is basically the Megamine combo from um Psychono. And I go Uh Okay Sure Like it's one of those things like this card the problem with this combo in my opinion is it doesn't actually generate an advantage a lot of people are like well you could just trigger you could just um you can just trigger gates and i'm just like yes you trigger the climax in order to generate any form of advantage and this relies on you drawing the climax over and over and over again in order to generate any form of advantage like mm -hmm. it's kind of uh, okay, you plus you virtually plus this card over and over and over again. Congratulations, you have just plus a vanilla. I will take my bunny girl an extra stock over this card. Never right, but you know there, there are people who there are people who stand by these types of combos because they're like, hey, it reminds me of a certain protagonist from a certain very overhyped popular anime. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. and, and people are like, cool, that seems pretty good. And, and you know, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have recommended it as an alternative if we didn't think this was if we didn't if we really thought this was complete trash. <laughs> it's it's definitely not my preference towards it, but at the same time, people are like, "Well, this denies reversals." I'm like, "Yeah, sure, this does deny reversals." But like, 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 some some people like to play some people like to play card games in the form of. How can I advance my win condition while also preventing my opponent from getting yours? And that's a fair enough outcome, but at the same time, a lot of people are just playing on attack combos that literally just say, I don't care about this at all. Go ahead and go ahead Right. And like, like, in more of a blind mega, this is actually not bad. Yeah, in more of a blind meta, like, like Nats or something, sure, but... Um, even even at that though, I think I'd rather just go with the bunny girl combo. But uh, again, it, it, it's here if you want it, and you want to have things be a little more accessible than having to go back a set or two. <laughs> Though it's it's player preference. It's player preference. It's ultimately player preference. <laughs> All right then, and to round off. Hey, hey, look, shaken Mega Man one zero two five adventure map. Alrighty, you. Alright, she is a 1,000 counter, and when you, and you use the back of this card, you may discard two cards, choose one of your opponent's, opponent's characters who is higher level than the opponent, and send them to the grave. Wow, level 1 anti-change counter, sign me up. <laughs> and it's costless. Neat. Hey look, it's a remnant from set 1. It's a remnant from set 1, and if you really missed out on set 1, she is available in re-edit. <laughs> but, the level 1 anti-change counters. You what? Konosuba did not need help. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, this was this was this was one of Konosuba's debut cards. <laughs> so, what were they thinking? What were they thinking in the long run? True. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Pretty much. No, no, a lot of a lot of uh, lesser skill players are like, but you have to pitch half your hand. Yes. And like, but, but, that's fine. <laughs> that is fine. <laughs> I will pitch half my hand 
to anti to anti to anti change one of to anti damage and anti change one of your lanes. Sign me up, boys. Right, and, and the fact that it's level one means if you really, really are scared of like a two two threat that popped out early because of a standby trigger, there you go. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, unfortunately for the standby Albuza players, say goodbye to Koga. Or, uh, Poppin' Party Bang Dream, Gasaya doesn't have Encore, so, bye. <laughs> bye. That's <laughs> uh, I'm paying free for it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Alrighty, so now on to our level twos. Mm-hmm. We will start. We yep, we have four off. We will start off with Covering Fire Yui Yui from the Legend of Crimson Star, playing as a single copy. She is a 2500 level 2 backup, and she has uh, all kill when you use the backup of this card, you may pay the cost of 4 stock, discard an adventure or magic character from your hand to your waiting room. If you do, choose one of your opponent's characters and rest it. Bushy, what are you doing? The privilege is so real here. Mm -hmm. Why? The privilege is very real. <laughs> like, we did oh. like ser searchable. Rest counter in a deck that's already powerful and giving itself extra survival on top of having powerful finishers, excuse me? <laughs> when I add this to my hand, how, uh, how many Poco Spooks are you using? Uh, I I'm pretty sure I'm using at least five. <laughs> at least five? Yes! I'm just kind of, I'm, 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 I'm just kind of like, great, how am I gonna execute this next turn? <laughs> How many of those are Soviet Poco Spooks? Uh, uh pro probably at least one of them. Uh, okay, because, <laughs> because like, holy balls, man. okay, uh, we can fetch this, like, Jesus, we did not need this. Mm -hmm. We did not need this. And 2500 means that it can probably also punch over a certain lane, so... Yeah, you're, 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 an, an opponent that runs into this is gonna feel very, very bad. <laughs> Uh, 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 the, fa uh, the fact is, like, this is a card that you have to play around with. Like, wait a second. I, I, I can't believe they put this on a creature, of all things. Can you, dude? I mean, like, we we've saw we've seen it with other titles before, like Re Re Zero, but at least Re Zero didn't try to blow you up in the face without conducting battle. Yeah, I was about to say, ReZero is a hell of a lot more fair than this, than this set, man. Well, like, 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 I wish like ReZero you expected because ReZero is trying to play that game of outlasting you, but this is Konosuba. This, this is, this is a title that not only tries to outlast you, but also tries to blow you out of the water. And bear in mind, bear in mind, we both think that this set is, this, this deck and set is less explosive than Albuta. Which, yeah. and, and, but even then, we, we still think Konosuba is very, very potent in a oh. nutshell. Holy, like, if you couldn't tell by my commentary, oh, Konosuba is so good. Mm hmm. It, it but, is definitely not an easy matchup. <laughs> but for those of you who think Yui Yui isn't the best choice, we do have an alternative for you people. Because some people think 5 stock and 2 cards to rest is expensive. <laughs> in case of emergency. Oh, no, this is you. In case of emergency, Mega Man. Two, one, two, five. Adventure Magic. You can also fetch this card. She's a two, five counter. Mm -hmm. And when you use the back of this card, you may discard the strongest magic user, Mega Man, the level three combo, and sacrifice one of your guys to to anti change one of you one of one of your opponent's guys. Mhm. Mm so a little bit. Uh... And, you know, she's also a 2500 backup, which then makes her a bit more useful than the 1k that uh, Shaken Megumin gives you. And unlike Yui Yui, uh, Salvation is so awkward can possibly grab you, guess. <laughs> um, Bushy, why? Why? Konosuba did not need a sack counter too! Right, so uh, that, was a, that was another problem that Shaken Megumin doesn't cover, is that uh, it doesn't sacrifice anything on your board, so you are about to be at the receiving end of an on-reverse climax combo. This could be the king that uh, makes or breaks you. <laughs> if the 1,000 the 1, counter doesn't save you, 
in a lot of cases it won't. Right, 1,000 is simply too tiny, but 2,500 could help, but if, if even that doesn't help, you just be like, bye. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just eat this character alive. <laughs> and the fact is that it, this doesn't cost you stock. Like, well, holy... just the base one. Okay, okay, any additional stock. <laughs> You know exactly what I meant. Right. Usually, like, like, this is, this is, this is almost as, as cost effective as Smug Look Emilia from ReZero. Oh, Jesus Christ, Smug Look Emilia is dirt cheap. I'm used to Ghost Chitoge from, Nisa, from Nesquik. <laughs> I am used to Ghost Chitoge cost, man. Yeah, the three and the character. <laughs> Versus one and two cards from hand you what like come on bushy come stop on bushy giving, <laughs> stop giving this that so much privilege it could be like that <laughs> and to run off our level twos we have none other than good old foreclosure a card i think was printed with the wrong text or was actually missing a cause <laughs> anyway available in sec two and re-edit uh two three counter, send all cards in your opponent's stock to the waiting room, and at the end of the turn, your opponent sends the same number of cards from the top of their deck into their stock, at which we play 3 copies. This really should have said, you cannot play, if you do not have a character with Aqua in its card name, or a character with the Axis code trait or something, uh, you cannot play this card uh, from your hand. <laughs> okay, Bushy, Card Design 101. Where is the balance in this card? Like, did, 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 like the fact that this contains zero conditions really makes me concerned. <laughs> like, like, well, okay, well, it, one of its restrictions, like, I, I, like, I've seen Bushiro do this for other games already. I don't see why not for Wise Wars. They can, instead of doing an actual restriction, they could do Iragas. <laughs> Like, you know, I, 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 can't, I, I don't know if Gavin would agree with me here, but I think the clause I mentioned as a hypothetical could actually balance this card out a bit. You're being too generous, Dave. You're being too generous here. I think there should be three or more access cult devotees on the board. Basically, mm. forcing people to run access cult in access cult only, because this card, holy but Jesus, is insane. <laughs> <laughs> and, and restricting this to basically X portability only would make this card balanced. <laughs> I think I think I think my co-host here can agree with me on that. Like, it will be balanced, but it will also be called by such a very niche card. <laughs> it will be a very niche card, but at the same time, it will reward people for playing X cult. <laughs> that is fair. The X cult doesn't have much to really go off of, huh? Well, I mean, but as it is. Well, 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 we'll play as it is because Bushiro allowed this title to just have all the privilege. The privilege is very real. I mean, I mean, having played having played against this card, what goes to your mind? Like, oh boy, I won't get to do this if I just simply choose to front here. <laughs> huh, I can either choose to anti-damage or anti-damage myself here or I... Or I, I risk not being able to pull off my finisher. Right. So that's, a, that's a very difficult choice. Mm -hmm. For 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 closure really is. <sighs> like, your opponent be bluffing it too. That's the scary part because of the fact that unless they play a uh, Wiz from Legend of Crimson, there's no there's really no broadcasting that they have to card. <laughs> Like, I, mean, I guess the scary part, like, you're just kind of like, I guess, or, or if they get off a of Bungie Girl Union, but, like, that's, that's, the, that's the game. This, this, this thing is very, very hard to, like, you, it's practically almost never broadcasted. <laughs> I mean, the one game, the one game that we had, when I had foreclosure the entire time, did you suspect I had it? I, I'm pretty sure by the time I hit level 3, you would have gotten it by that point. <laughs> But then I revealed that I've had it this entire time. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> and you gave me no opportunity to cast it, but at the same time, it warps your opponent's playstyle to the point where 
if they don't play around this card, they lose immediately. Mm -hmm. Which is insane. Like, Bushiroad, full stop. Pulls. Yeah, let, let, let's, let's, let's hope Bushiroad actually uh, gets its uh, head out of its rear end and hopefully uh, balance out some things a bit better for when we can go to our shops again in overseas territories. <laughs> Alrighty, let's, All right, let's moving on, on to level, level three, I wish we play eleven. Starting off, best magic user Yun Yun. Three tiers, nine K. She is available in the newest set only, the Legend of Crimson. Adventure of Magic. If you have two or less CXs in your grave, you can still find from level one hand. If you have two or more other match for adventures, this gains fifteen hundred. And hand on court. She also heals your ass. Wow, talk about sticky early play. Like, oh. like, like, they, they call someone really need this. <laughs> no, it honestly Like, is. excuse me, 10-5, ten, ten that heals, that's also sticky? Like, come on. <laughs> your, like, your opponent pretty much can't anti-change this, effectively. Like, like the, only, the only real way is to start playing those 1-1s one -ones or 2-1s that send this character elsewhere. <laughs> Yeah. Otherwise, Otherwise, Dick. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> like anti-change counters, your opponent effectively, like your opponent, your opponent effectively pays three, ditches three cards from hand to make you ditch one. And your cards kind of like this has got to be the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals, maybe ever. Yeah, I was about to say, that's the worst trait. I was about to say, uh, that'd be worse than our current incumbent Mr. Trump has ever made. <laughs> and, or, or even worse, they try to sacrifice out them. They try to the sack counter. Right, at which point you're paying three stock, two cards, and you're just forced to discard one. <laughs> like, oh, no. excuse me? <laughs> okay, sure, that attack didn't go through. Boo, effing who? <laughs> <laughs> you just sacrificed a bunch of resources to do to prevent three damage or to prevent two, two or three. Prevent damage. two or three damage. I force me to get your card on my own turn. Cool. <laughs> uh, I like Chizu. Chizu from Slime is this is this card except easier to summon. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, Chizu is a really good card. When I saw this card. Bushy. What are you doing? Come on, man. Yeah. Like, for real? For real? Like, two or, like, most people will be like, well, two or less is a garbage condition. Are you high? Yeah, I was like, what? Cool. <laughs> like, 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 excuse me. <laughs> um, but at the same time, like, this card is just... Um, like, like, if, if they, like, holy crap. <laughs> She starts punching holes. Not to mention, she's also 10-5 on defense, which means you may not even need to pitch the card to save her. Yeah. Like, oh. Because this, this, oh, this, this, this card's oh, just, oh, yikes. Like, when you see this card on the board at level 2, what are your thoughts on this card? I just go, whoop, I guess I just make this punch right through, because anti chance ain't gonna do jank. So you're just gonna let this hit you? Continuously. Which I'm just kind of like, better off doing that than spanging, than putting myself in a deep hole that I cannot yeah. recover from easily. That is true. Pretty much, you just have to. You you you, you 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 pick what you did it. She puts you in a lesser of two evils situation. Well, he's, he has a recurrable two soul beater that I can't eliminate easily. Oh, no. Just let him roam free. Just let her roam free. Unless, unless people really start playing those stock. Bogum gag uh, bombs or cock bombs instead. <laughs> What's green? What well, is green? F. Cry across a 9 event bang dream. <laughs> anyway, strongest magic user Mega Man. Level 3, 2 costs 9500 power with the adventure and magic trace, also from Legend of Crimson. Also, when she is placed from your hand onto the stage, you may pay the cost of discarding the card from your hand. If you do, send the top card of your clock to your stock. And all kill climax combo. At the beginning of your attack phase, uh, you may pay the cost of 
Three stock, sang a card name, hands intertwined, the door climax you see right there next to the character from your climax area to the Wii room, rest a front row card name, best magic user Yun Yun, and this card in your front row. If you do, your opponent chooses a climax in their waiting room, sends all cards from your waiting room other than the chosen card uh, into the deck and shuffle it, uh, send all characters in front of the characters rested for this ability cost to your opponent's cork and deal 3 to your damage to your, deal 3 damage to your opponent twice. Damage cancel can occur. 4 copies of the character and 4 copies of the climax. I've been saying this all bloody deck tech. Bushy road. Why? What are you doing, man? Like, okay, first of all, on the door trigger, so we're definitely, definitely being rewarded for playing the uh, brainstorm. <laughs> Okay, first off, you heal to stock. And you heal the stock, which is like, boy. <laughs> what? And, again, this is, this, is, this, is one my, this is one of my pet peeves with Konosuba. It does things without interacting with you. This is a prime example. For forget Mega Man from set 1, we have this now. <laughs> also, oh, we can yeah. stop playing original Aqua because of this. Oh, I see that you left creatures for me to clock kick. Yeah, get kicked, and then burn three. On top of that, as you may notice from the card text, this ability does not choose, so Hexproof does nothing. <laughs> hey, now, hey, now all from Charlotte, die. Mm-hmm, like, oh, I can't front attack you anymore? <laughs> what about the packing you speak of? Okay, cool. I just don't burn green on you because you're playing Charlotte, which means you have, uh, Mr. What's face in your memory. <laughs> I mean, it's you, by the way. It's you. Look. <laughs> and, and, and no, we're not bringing out that rush hour beam. No, we're not. <laughs> but at the same time, wait a second. So, it is Field of Star, Fumio, and the original Megamine, except better. Um, excuse me, Bushy, what are you doing? Like... Oh, but guys, it costs three stock. <laughs> it costs three stock. Excuse me. You're, you're probably getting a lot of stock from playing uh, Best Magic User Yung Yung because she's probably standing there for X turns. Um, or Buddy Girl, who has been giving you stock since the beginning of time. <laughs> True. Or hell, even Jumper Joe's. Like, like, like this card does so much for relatively so little without forcing the opponent without even allowing the opponent to interact like the only way to interact with this is somehow clear your board before this comes down <laughs> i mean having faced this card <laughs> uh, uh how many uh soviet poker scoops do you have in your head <laughs> at least two <laughs> they represent the two characters uh that will get caught kick if i leave them behind Well, at this time, I'm so glad I haven't had to face this in, at my locals yet. I know a certain I know a certain uh, player who will be using this combo, and I'm like, I've told him how good it is, and he's like, yeah, I told you it was good. I'm like, yeah, dude, I know it's pretty damn good. Like this is a sum like, like Bushiro, please take some notes. One card, three three cards should not interact doing all this. Three I cards should not be doing the. The job of five. Yeah, what the actual heck? <laughs> this, 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 this is card economy gone wrong. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, we've alluded to that move a billion times in this commentary, but at the same time, th this deck, like, holy shit! All right, oh. well, let's just conclude it. Beautiful goddess of water, Aqua. She is available in set two and in re-edit. By the way, guys, her price went from forty dollars to twelve. To twelve. Be grateful. Three, two, nine, k Adventure goddess. If you have four or more characters with adventure goddess or access cult, she becomes level two in your hand. During your turn, if all your if all your characters are either adventure, goddess, or axis cult, she's an 11 camp. And she has also a heal to stall. Alright. So, 
this is really this is one of the cards that really likes Konosuba be able to play the survival game in a deck that can just just out gorillions of damage while interacting with the opponent. <laughs> um, on top of that, being 11k on the offense is really really not bad. <laughs> Right. Literally, this card is the perfect bait because guess what? If my opponent lets this card live, they have more. They have two soul beaters, killing them quickly. Mm -hmm. If they kill this card, which I'm expecting them to kill, that's fine. They died at a level three combo. Like Konosuba puts you in a very bad situation where it is the worst of both worlds. Mm-hmm. You either have two soul beaters beating the crap out of you, or you have things that, or you walk right into level three combo. Right? There Which, very, yeah, Komisuba really sets their stuff up too well. There are very few decks that you can afford to double mount with Aqua, and even then, I'm like, sure, I don't care. Here's a level zero shitter. Hey, now you now you're gonna, now you're gonna be like, can you out shit the sugar? <laughs> feels like a shitter even though she isn't a shitter like like if you look at her in paper out of, and in practice she's not a shitter but i treat her as a shitter the majority of the time and that's just how good the legend of princess card quality is when this card was dominant was literally one of the best cards in the former meta deck and when i treat this card as nothing more than just a shitter that heals me at this point that says something about this, about the Legend of Princess card ball. Like, if this, if this set does not get a restriction in August, I would be very strong. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, so, while you still can, <laughs> go out and, if you can afford it, and you like the title, and you want to go EXPLOSION up the rear end, go ahead, pick this deck up, Enjoy it before Bushiro does anything major to it. And the thing is, is that this deck, I will warn you now, is extremely expensive. Mhm. Mm so we 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 do recommend this deck with a bit of caution. If you pretty much if you already own cards from previous sets, you should be fine. But but if you really are starting off from zero or you haven't touched this title since set one or something then we're kind of gonna be like you're better off waiting the next few months see what happens and make a decision from there <laughs> or pick up Albuta pick up Albuta <laughs> hey, man, hey man I priced out Albuta recently and it's not that expensive it's like 200 some odd like this deck is in is like close to four hundred. So okay, but uh, people probably like Konosuba, more people probably like Konosuba more than Albuquerque as an anime anyway, right? Fair, fair, fair enough, fair enough. That's why Konosuba gets like a billion things of support. <laughs> oh. oh, and I feel bad for the English fans. Oh. Well, in 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 English is managing for now. Alrighty, well, that should conclude our, um, our Konosuba deck set, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And with that, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.